Today we're going to be discussing internal resistance. Now what is internal resistance? Let's imagine any source of EMF. For instance, this could be a cell or it could be a car battery. And in any cell, work is required to be done in order to move the charges from one end to the other end. For instance, if we're just trying to move some electrons or some negative ions from the negative end to the positive end, we need to do some work. In the process, typically energy is lost. This leads to the concept of internal resistance. In fact, we can visualize any cell with the following illustration. All we need to do is imagine a cell of a certain EMF that is connected in series with a small resistor R, which is in fact the internal resistance. So this over here is our internal resistance. And this will be responsible for the loss of voltage or the loss of potential difference across the terminals of the cell. So if the resistor wasn't there, if there was no internal resistance, the um, measured potential difference across the cell would equal the EMF. However, now it doesn't because there's a voltage drop of 0.1 volts due to the internal resistance and the terminal PD V is now equal to 2.9 volts. Because of this, we can write down an expression for the EMF, which must equal our terminal PD V. Remember, the terminal PD is essentially the potential difference that we measure with a voltmeter across the cell, plus the amount of volts that have been lost. So we're going to say V lost. So in this diagram, the lost volts would be 0.1 volts that have been lost across the internal resistor. We can also simplify this a little bit and say that the EMF will be equal to the terminal PD plus I, which is the current in the circuit. So let's say there's a current I going through this circuit times R, the internal resistance. And this is because we can apply Ohm's law to the lost volts as well. V lost R going to equal I times R. And this is one of the equations that we can use to determine internal resistance. So I'm just going to highlight this as a very important equation. We can take this a step further in simplifying by essentially saying that the terminal PDV is equal to I times R, where R is the resistance in the circuit. For instance, if I had this uh, circuit over here on the right, and uh, let's say that I connected it to some sort of total resistance R, like so, so I can just draw this around the side. When that's the case, the EMF will be equal to V, which is actually I times R, plus the lost voltage, which is I times lowercase r, which is the internal resistance. We can factorize out the current, then we can get our second formula for internal resistance. That is that the EMF will be equal to I times the resistance in the circuit plus the internal resistance. Okay guys, so those are the two main formulae that we're going to be using when we're dealing with internal resistance problems. Hopefully this makes sense. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.